good morning my beautiful friends it is a bins day i'm here in northern california i'm in this beautiful area taking a walk um i dropped my son off for school at 7 50 and the bins does not open until nine so i always have an hour to kill so i take a little walk and then i might sit in my car and build some listings or something like that might stop at trader joe's or target if i need something and then we're gonna go pay three dollars and 49 cents per pound and dig through giant blue bins of pre-owned clothing let's go so pretty out here i thought i'd just give you a shot of this morning walk there's nothing like the rolling hills of northern california it's just such a beautiful location here where i am and i'm very very grateful for it okay friends let's do our first bins check-in they have not done any rotations yet this is just the beginning of the morning. They'll do their first rotation at 10 o'clock. Here's my cart. I have a ton of bread and butter. Oh gosh, what did I just mean to say? I have a ton of bread and butter in here. I literally have like Target dresses because I haven't seen anything spectacular, but I will not lose the faith because it always works out at the bins. I've met two viewers, my friend Stephanie, who I've met through YouTube and know I've seen her a bunch now, and I met a new viewer named Perry, who was so friendly and so awesome. So I got to learn about her, so that was really fun and exciting. I hope I get to meet all of you at some point, and you can have a It's a bin Day with me. <laughs> I'm just randomly talking to you and looking through the hard goods for a second. What is this? Wowzer. I don't even know what that's for. Do you guys? Let's get giant pillows. Looks retro. No clue. All right, I have to keep digging. All right, I think I have something good in my hand, but we'll have to check it out together. Um, this is that little leopard print sweater that I got in my last bins haul video. It's like super thin. So is this still a thing? Um, these are the Adidas collab with Stella McCartney. So it's an Adidas designer collab. This was hot like years ago. I've never found it. So um, it's a pair of sweatpants. They don't look to be in perfect condition, but uh, they look pretty good. I saw this. It's kind of peeling too, Stella McCartney. So we'll have to look those up. That used to be something. I know my cart looks like, oh wow, crazy, but this is a good thing, I think. And then there's a lot of bread and butter stuff to look up. So nothing like super crazy. I feel like my lipstick is really, really dry. I better put some chapstick on. I'm just like primping myself at the bins. That's embarrassing. All right, let's keep at it, kitties. Here's my friend Perry that I met. Say hi. Hi. Hey, she is, She's so friendly and so sweet. She's a professional hi. manicurist and reseller. And she says that I do not fill my cart when it looks like this. So I'm going to go do it right now, Perry, for you. I understand this is ridiculous, okay? I guess I have not kept up with my sorting. I'm gonna do it right now. All right, I don't know if you can see this because of the sun, so my total was 184 for all of this stuff, including the basket with the sheets and the handbag. So that is a lot of stuff. I think it was like 50 something pounds. Friends, welcome to the haul portion of the video. This was an exceptional day at the bins, mostly because I got to hang out with a couple viewers who have now become friends. My friend Perry and Stephanie, it was so great thrifting with you. I hope to meet all of you someday so we can just hang out and go thrifting together. It's the best. I have a huge haul, so I'm gonna jump right in, but be sure to stay till the end of the video for the bloopers and make sure you have hit that little thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. I don't even know where to start. I'm so very excited. This stuff's from Friday. It is now Tuesday afternoon, so I bought this for myself. This is just a linen t-shirt. I love linen t-shirts. You guys, the day started out a little slow. I found this in the last round. It was a little slow, it was a little kind of slow picking. It got better as the day went on and I always say that you guys at the bins, just stay with it, stick with it, you'll find treasures. Eileen Fisher, one of my absolute favorite brands to sell. This is an XL2, so that's amazing. And it is an orange tunic shift dress. Has to be somebody who loves that color orange, but luckily there are a lot of artsy ladies who love the color orange. This feels absolutely incredible and it's an XL. 
Eileen Fisher does kind of minimalist, minimalist staple pieces and they are extremely expensive. That dress I'm sure was like $250. This is made in Italy. I just picked something up from this brand. The tag just looks like this and I think it's called like M. Made in Italy, if I can remember. I pick up everything that says made in Italy. This is a linen animal print boxy sweater. This is so kind of my style, so it might end up in the bad reseller Quemby pile. <laughs> this is a J. Crew blazer. I went back and forth because it's a size two, and in my experience, those very small sizes take longer to sell. But this is linen. A linen J. Crew blazer. We're going into spring and summer, so I'm thinking linen might do well. I'm oh my gosh, this is all from that last round. I feel bad, Stephanie, if you're watching this because you took off a little early. I did find great stuff throughout the day, just a little bit at a time, but the last couple of rounds were really good. Rosemarine made in Italy. Okay, made in Italy. At least look it up, you guys, if you're out there thrifting. Size large tiered dress. I guess it's kind of like an ombre where it fades into different colors. This is a midi dress, M-I-D-I. -I. Goes down mid-cav, perfect for this season. Maybe I should switch bags because maybe all my best stuff is in this bag. <laughs> Don't want to go through all the best stuff in the beginning. No, I have tons of good stuff. I'm looking ahead of me and I'm like, I have good stuff. I own these pants, 100% linen Cynthia Rowley pants wide leg, elastic waist, pull on, lag and look boho, beachy linen pants. I might keep those because I have them in orange and pink and I love them. Ooh, look at the print on this. That's so boho-y. I don't know this brand, Iconique by Vacamez. You're killing me, you're killing me. I'm doing this on film. Italiane, so another Italian piece. Here's the tag. At the bins, you guys, I can take risks. Well, one, I've been selling for 12 years, almost 13 now. So I I take a little more risk because of experience. If you're out at the Goodwill and they want $9.99 for a dress like this, it behooves you to pull out your phone and look it up. I'm at the bins. My cost of goods there on average is about $2 an item. And this is amazing. I am in love with this. It's a very gauze cotton lightweight dress, great bohemian pattern, and it has all this embroidery, like stitching detail. It's so good. It's so, so good. If you're wondering about this top, yes, I got this at the bins too. <laughs> this is a brand called Arata Silent Journey. Very excellent brand to find. I kept mine. <laughs> Don't do that. Sell it and actually make the money. Tommy Bahama. Tommy Bahama, specifically the women's dresses, have been doing great. Great. I mean, I can sell them for $25 to $35. They've been selling fast. This is a maxi dress. It's long. A long black v-neck maxi dress. And um, that's what it is. <laughs> I thought it had some detail I was going to show you. Oh, here it is. A little gathered ruching on the side is very flattering. I don't know what it is about the Tommy Bahama maxi dresses. They've just been selling, whereas the men's shirts sitting, I have them listed for $19.99 sitting. Maybe as we move into summer, those will start selling. I'll keep you posted, but I'm not picking up anymore. This I bought for myself. It's a rust colored star print lightweight sweater with an open knit. I don't know this brand, Blank Page. I'm guessing it's not anything, but I will look it up. I just like the color, but historically a star print has done well. What the heck is this? <laughs> oh, I did get this. I, this is one of those macrame things. I think it's to put a little plant or something in. It'll fit in with my decor. That's funny. This is not a brand I normally pick up, BB Dakota Steve Madden. It's just not a very high-end brand, but this piece I really liked, size medium. Here's the tag, BB Dakota Steve Madden, but it's, it is a maxi dress, and it's that gauzy, gauzy fabric. It goes all the way down. It's long, long, tiered pink, 
Barbie pink gauze maxi dress with pockets. I think I think someone will want that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I forgot I bought this. This is a true, real deal belly dance costume. I don't even know what to tell you guys. It's absolutely gorgeous, heavily beaded. It feels like silk, but I don't know. And it has a matching bottom. Now, disclosure here, I did belly dancing for many years. I didn't wear this kind of costume because I did what was called tribal belly dance, so it was much more like Middle Eastern traditional tribal costumes, large skirts and beading and stuff, but not this sexy, sexy stuff. But I will tell you, belly dance costumes are very expensive. So I don't know, I'm gonna list this thing. It's exquisite. So I don't know. <laughs> you gotta try some stuff, right friends? I bet I'll make money on that. You gotta trust your instincts too. Like with this piece, this says Quills Ireland, and it's one of these traditional cotton long nightgowns. It's got a lot of embroidery smocking. I love these things personally. The cotton just feels exquisite. Like in the summer, to put one of these beautiful Irish cotton nightgowns on. Now, do I do that? Not very often, ask my partner Petey. I'm usually in a big band t-shirt <laughs> and some little shorts or something. But in my mind, I would love to be the sort of woman who wears the beautiful nightgown. This is Billabong, which I don't really buy. It's a mall brand. It's like surf and skate kind of younger women. But I am planning for spring and summer now. And this is another maxi dress. That all that elastic, elastic is called smocking. It also has eyelet. That's this fabric here, kind of like a lace. It has a puff sleeve and it's a very long tiered maxi again. So. This is what I would call like a style pickup. It's, it's a brand that's known, I've sold it. it. I mean, I go to, if I go in a store like that, I'm like, you want $80 for that dress? Everything seems expensive to me because I'm a thrifter. This is a project, this is Patagonia. I just couldn't leave it behind, I probably should have, but this is the better, no, no, this is the retooled snap vest. I was gonna say better sweater because the better sweater has sold really well and this has sold well the retooled snap um but it's all stained the front is all stained so i am going to soak it and see if i can work any magic on it and if i can't i will sell it as flawed and the outerwear jackets like this are what do best in the brand Ooh, one bag down i have to show you one of my favorite items this is the brand Daydreamer. I'll show you the tag. Daydreamer makes graphic tees. They are expensive. They sell great. They've done collaborations with free people. And this is a Rolling Stones. This same exact style one sold for $50 pre-owned on eBay recently. It's got like some velour velvet on the tongue there. These are going, if you check comps on Daydreamer, some people are putting them on auction and they're selling for 10 bucks. Other people are doing buy it now and they're going for 35, 55. So I'll be doing buy it now. I love that brand. All right, I'm stuck here because I've got so much stuff and I need to sort, but I literally just jumped and hugged my new BFF, Perry, because in here I found a pair of Johnny Was. Here they are. Johnny was leggings. It's not like an extra large blouse or anything, but still an amazing find at the bins. Size small, all heavily embroidered. Johnny was Los Angeles. Really great find. They're so cool. I sadly I think they're too small for me, which could make me just start crying here at the bins, but I better not. All right, friends, do you think I should change out my Lululemon hip pack for this? <laughs> it's like a pink, shiny hip pack. I think that could be really fun. It's cheap as anything, but I think I could have fun with that. I don't know, it has like real 80s, 90s vibes. 
These are Mini Bowden. This is a brand I do pick up for kids, and I'm interested in these. However, somebody wrote their kid's name on them, like on the outside waistband. So I just, I don't know if I, that someone's gonna wanna buy them for their kid with another person's initials. Got some linens in here. I have to go through uh, Victoria's Secret bras. I always pick this up. I check the, the hooks here to make sure they're good. This one's got some deodorant on it, so I'd have to throw it in the wash. Mm, no, it just doesn't look in good enough shape. Normally I pick up Victoria's Secret bras and I usually sell for $15 to $20. I would have got these if I found more. These are Williams Sonoma, which is a good like kitchen house bar brand. And this is really beautiful em embroidered napkin, but I only found one. There could be more over there, but I didn't see any. Um, all right. Hey friends, I'm interrupting this video. It's Sunday night and I'm about to do some of my shipping. I sold these anthropology pants on Poshmark for $30. Cool mustard color, size 29. Anyway, now I get the fun decision of which poly mailer I'm going to use to do my shipping tonight. I've been using Gyro. I have a link and a discount link in the description if you want to check them out. I just got these in. Um, this amazing color purple, which I love, and then a nice bright pop of hot pink. I got the hot pink in a 12 by 15, so it's a little bit bigger, but what I order most of all is the 10 by 13. As a clothing seller, this fits almost everything. Um, they're really high quality. They have a great price, and you can shop on their website really easily. Last time I got my brand colors, which was really exciting, I got this turquoise, and I got the hot pink bubble mailer. So they do both regular poly mailers and bubble mailers. They have great colors, um, and I hope you, hope you guys check them out. It's been really fun for me to, I don't know, just have a little fun choosing which colorful poly mailer I'm going to use to put my items in and I like them a lot so I have a discount code the grateful queen all one word all cops caps and there's a link that gives you a discount over there if you want to check them out all right I just got these Lauren Ralph Lauren pants they're new with tag here they are I got them at the bins Lauren Ralph Lauren size 8 modern straight kind of khaki pants. I took an offer for $17.99 plus $5.99 shipping for these. If you're noticing my system, yes, I'm old school. I've been reselling 12 years and I started when my business was very small, listing things in the bins like size small tops and then it grew. So now I've got size small light colored tops light with a print. I mean, I recommend if you're starting and you don't have 2,000 items like I do, I do recommend that you use some sort of barcode system or numeric system. Uh, it would just be so hard for me to change my system now. And hey, it works for me, but I don't think it's the best system. Just, just letting you know. These are a pair of Beyond Yoga leggings. They sold for $20 on Poshmark plus shipping. I got them at the bins. They're very light. I usually just say my cost of goods at the bins is like uh, $2 an item, but these are less than a pound, so however you want to do it. Beyond Yoga used to sell for a lot. It sells for much less now, so you think you can hope for like you know, for a size small pair of just regular leggings. These are like a space dye terracotta color. You can expect like 15 to 20, you guys. It just doesn't sell like it used to. But at the bins, I love a $20 flip. This this next sale's in my extra small pants bin. <laughs> I just listed these. Everlane. I love selling, selling Everlane. It's one of my best-selling brands. I found these ones at the bins. They're a size 2, the straight leg crop. They sold for $34.99 plus $8.49 shipping. But I have also bought several boxes from Helpsy Source, you guys. Um, they have Nuvo Tag Everlane men's, women's, tops, bottoms, all different stuff. And it's been some of my best-selling stuff in 2023. So the cost of goods on those boxes are a little higher, but they've been Nuvo Tags and I've made so much money on them. I think I have a video about it here on the channel somewhere, but I think it was... I think it's the best boxes I've bought from Helpsy Source. So if you're considering wholesale, make sure to find a brand that you know sells well for you. You know what I mean? That's the most important thing. 
Um, and I love that Helps You Source does, you can shop by brand. This next sale, and I'm not going to go through all my sales. I like to just show you a few things. This is interesting to me because this is not a brand I pick up. It's Land's End, but it was a 3X Supima cotton turtleneck. And I got it because it was 3X. Supima is a very high quality cotton, usually made in Peru. It sold for $19.99 plus $5.99 shipping, and it sold pretty quick. And you might remember I also got a 3X... Um, plain like Henley waffle thermal and that sold right away too so I guess the moral of the story is plus size lands and an LL bean and all that might do pretty good this I bought for size this is a plus size dress it's lands end I do not buy a lot of lands end I do not buy a lot of LL bean but if you get those catalogs then you know they're pricey let me move this little thing down there we go but this is 3x wrap front dress and plus size in those brands has been doing well this is a bunch of hannah anderson i picked up that's a really good kids brand i'll show you the tag i buy it even if it's not in perfect shape um and i might send some of this to my baby nephew miles who is eight months now or i i collect this stuff and then when i get a bunch of it in a similar size i'll lot it up or not even a bunch like if i just get like a few tops or a few then I'll lot them up together. This looks like a Quimby shirt. I bet you it is. <laughs> yeah, I did. I bought this for myself. Just a Madewell tee. I love a good tee. This is pretty cool. I want to look this up. This is a Harry Potter collab with Minnie Bowden. Bowden's an excellent women's catalog brand. If you find Bowden, look it up. I usually buy it. Minnie Bowden is their baby line, and that's very expensive, and I usually buy that too. So this collab is interesting. Oh my God, it has a little tie. This is extremely well made. It's a dress. So I'll have to do some research on this. It's gorgeous quality. It's like a Harry Potter dress. I've sold a lot of Harry Potter stuff. If I see like the sweaters or sweatshirts, I'll pick them up. This is my favorite color. Look at it with my rings. This would look good. Turquoise kind of blue. This is one of these scarf situations. It has like a, wait, how does this go? I think it just goes like this. Here's the neckline, it's like a draped scarf. And I sell a lot of scarves. And this is a lash on 100% cashmere. Never heard of the brand. Great style, great color, great fabric content. I think paying attention to brand, especially in the beginning, is extremely important. I know I have a lot of new resellers who watch this, which is why I try and be very descriptive. And I try and give a lot of keywords. Um, I, in the beginning, would definitely focus on finding the best brands you can. And then when you get really comfortable with that, you can start going, well, this is, an, this is cashmere. I should look this up. Or this is made in Italy or France or Spain. I should look this up. So, um... That's that. This is an anthropology brand. This line still does pretty well for me. It's Saturday, Sunday. But it's confusing because they list every single day of the week there. <laughs> but this is a super comfy gray t-shirt kind of thing. What is this white thing? White at the bins is a dangerous thing to do because it's almost always going to have some sort of stain or something. This is gorgeous. It is a, I think linen a size medium victorian classics never heard of it but it's new with tag i think it's probably a nightgown and it has embroidered bees on it and pleating kind of funny that i found all these high quality nightgowns while i'm having this little water break i hope you are hydrating i leave for mexico next week you're probably going to see this my videos are always like two or three weeks behind. My videos are like an hour long. It's a lot of editing and it, I'm, I'm really just getting like one video out a week to you all. Maybe in the summer when I'm not as busy, I can get more out. But um, I'm going to Mexico for spring break. <laughs> I go every year, I'm so excited. These are Banana Republic striped linen wide leg crop. I like anything that I can put wide leg crop in the title because it's very, fashionable right now these are a size zero i've been picking up a little bit more banana republic because it has been selling for me 
I think this is another piece of that Hannah Anderson. Okay, let's just have a cutesy moment. Giraffe t-shirt. Yes. Put your kid in that. That's cute. <laughs> Some Lululemon. I can't figure these things out. Um, these have a size dot, but I can't even read it anymore. I can't figure these things out. Oh, okay, maybe they're inside out. <laughs> Lululemon, I got these leggings. Well, I pretty much pick up any Lululemon at the bins, but these are a wide leg flare, which supposedly is coming back or is back. Um, that's that Lululemon. If you're trying to learn brands, that logo is a high quality out active wear brand. Lulu Lemon. Um, I don't see anyone at my gym wearing flare leggings yet. I've been keeping my eye out, but everyone's still wearing skinny at my gym, but I know the stores are selling um, flare boot cut. Here's that same brand, and this is absolutely stunning. M Made in Italy. What a lucky day at the bins my friends. Okay, I'm back, but you have no idea I've been gone because you're just watching this as a coherent video. But I had to go take care of some stuff and come back. <laughs> anyway, M Made in Italy. Stunningly gorgeous blue top, all lace, eyelet, boxy dolman chest, scallop hem. Oh, love it, love it, love it. I hope I don't try it on. <laughs> Free people. Free people, there's the little bar tag where it says free people. A little white striped mini skirt. This is a tag from Goodwill. I have no idea why they put it there. So when I see these tags, then I know the stuff at the bins that I'm sifting through was at the Goodwill, didn't sell there. I don't know if this was at the Goodwill for one day and they brought it to the outlet or whether this was there for weeks. A lot of it's raw donations. It doesn't have any hang pull tag from Goodwill. Uh, this is a Land's End size large. I pick up Land's End swimwear, okay? This is a swim shirt in a size large. One of these UPF sun protection. I pick up that particular brand in swimwear. It sells. This is a fantastic brand. This brand is so expensive retail. I know because I picked up recently a pair of joggers and I went on the site trying to find the style. The joggers were $350. I was like, it's standard James purse that says size three. They have their own sizing. So I will look up the size chart. This is just a lightweight gray. Um, I guess it's like a little cardigan, a little simple cardigan. They also make kind of simple basic pieces but really good fabric and very expensive this is ag which is adriana goldschmied um which is a denim brand so i don't know how this will do it's an extremely expensive denim brand this is a long ribbed see how that fabric has that rib on it now i put ribbed in my title and description because it's been a very popular knit long long sleeve maxi dress i've only sold the jeans so I, I sometimes i don't know like if a brand is known for jeans how does the other stuff in their line do i'm going quickly because i have so much and i want to show it to you these are just old navy why did you buy old navy quemby it's not even that expensive in the stores well not everybody has an old navy next to them but i bought these because they are new a tag old navy that's one check they are a medium tall. I like having tall and long in my store because if you are a medium tall, you might have to go on sites like eBay and Poshmark to find things that fit you well. And these are linen pants, so the style's great. Wide leg, elastic waist, old navy, new tag, linen pants, and a medium tall. I'll probably get $15 or $18 for those. Not life-changing money, but my business runs on these little sales. 15, 15, then I'll get like a $50 sale. A $100 sale I usually get once or twice a month. But I, I like to keep flow in my store, so I pick up all sorts of stuff. I'm obsessed with this, who made it? <laughs> Tie-dye ruffle front, can you see that? It's all ruffly, super thin, it's J. Crew. Super thin, light knit on this. It's J. Crew size medium. I'm selective with J. Crew, but it's a good, consistent selling brand. 
it's so tiny on there i don't know if you'll be able to see it but it's a j crew really lightweight ruffly bohemian tie-dye top it's so fun for me i don't know about you <gasps> i forgot i found this if you're just listening casually you want to learn this brand the brand is jenny kane now did i find the most amazing piece by jenny kane no it's a simple tank top oop that's the timer for my quinoa okay Hold on, I gotta go turn the water down on my quinoa and enjoy the view for a minute. Okay, this is just a simple tank top by the brand Jenny Kane, but I've never found it, so I'm still extremely excited, and it's new with tag. So it's going to be hard maybe to see this. It says Jenny Kane on the tag, and this tank top, the leopard cami in a size small, was a hundred and $45. This is an awesome designer. Never found it. I can mark it off my bolo list. I did find it in the wild. Wild. I, oh, okay. These are American Eagle shorts. Um, I am selective with American Eagle these days, you guys. These are distressed and destroyed, and they are the 90s boyfriend short, and they are a size eight. So for those reasons, I picked them up. You know, we're moving into spring and then summer and, you know, people are looking for summer stuff. So I like having shorts, but it's hard to find shorts that make you can make that much money on, but I like having them available. So that's just the way it is. I'm mad at myself for buying these because <laughs> I don't love listing this stuff. These are Columbia, size four nylon cargo outdoor camping hiking that's how i'll list them pants i think it's because i found two pair in a size four the exact same style so i might just lot these up i usually get 15 to 18 plus shipping for one pair and they do sell and they do move kind of quick so i guess i just don't find those pants to be very attractive <laughs> So I don't have as much fun, like, you know, listing that made in Italy eyelet top, I'm going to have like the best time listing hiking nylon pants. Eh, it's just not my thing, but, uh, these are velvet by Graham and Spencer. They're a size two. This is another good brand that does sell well for me. They make men's too. I realized these are perfect for now. High waisted corduroy wide leg in white. Okay. So someone's going to want those for the spring. This is really, really fun for me, you guys. I have no recollection of any of this. <laughs> I remember the Jenny Kane, but this is vintage April Cornell in a size large. I like the brand April Cornell. In fact, they still make stuff. And, and in fact, these pillows, when I film on the couch, you guys see these. These are April Cornell. And I knew from this color way and everything when I saw them, I'm like, those look like April Cornell. But I'm going to sell this as like Y2K 90s top. Oh my gosh, the quinoa timer is going off again. I'm doing a lot more vintage, you guys, now that I'm at the bins. And I like it. So I do come over here to look from time to time. I like finding belts and bags over here. This is too bad. This is a Lululemon bag. See all the Lululemon branding? I think this is an older bag. But look at the handles. Are, it's such a mess. I'm all for cleaning bags. I actually kind of enjoy it. But this is like peeling and everything. What is it? Like a bowling ball bag? It's a weird shape and size. I wish I could take these charms off and put them on my little hip pack. Got to bring some scissors to the bins. All right, I'm really being selective with the brand American Eagle. So I'm like looking up every pair of jeans. Like these ones are a jegging. They're definitely going back. But these ones are super destroyed and they're the American Eagle mom jean which is still very much in style they're a size 10 um but i looked up comps and the highest comps for these are 20 plus shipping and most of them are going for like 12 15 so i'm gonna put those back but there are some things that still probably do okay in that brand but apparently not those <laughs> So I'm filming you guys in front of a, my big window that looks out into my little backyard. And it's spring and the plum and apricot blossoms on the trees are blooming. And that happens once a year, this gorgeous miracle. So I'm just taking a second to be grateful for those beautiful blossoms. 
This I probably bought for myself because it looks like everything I own. <laughs> Black Distressed Comfy Tee. Okay, it didn't even have a brand on it. These are interesting. The comps on these were good. The brand on these jeans is just Cavalli. Now, Cavalli is a designer. I'm guessing that the Just Cavalli is like a diffusion line. I don't even know what the print on these are. They're nice colors, um, nice print, but the comps on these looked good. I looked them up because my bins is $3.49 a pound. These weigh, these don't weigh a pound. They're actually lighter jeans, but you know, I, I'm, I try to be a little bit careful with heavier stuff because I don't want my cost of goods to be too high. So I did look those up and they did look good. Roberto Cavalli is the designer and that says just Cavalli. So I love this. This is Pendleton. I pick up everything Pendleton. I don't say that about too many brands. I say I pick up everything Eileen Fisher, pretty much. I pick up everything Everlane, pretty much. Some brands like those do well even if they're small sizes. There's not that many like that. Lululemon, I pick up everything at the bins. I wouldn't at a retail Goodwill because it'd be too expensive. But I pick up everything Pendleton. This is a large linen plaid shirt. And it's short sleeve. And let's see if it's men's or women's. Do you guys know this trick? You have to look at the side the buttons are on. This is men's because the buttons are on the right. And a helpful viewer like last year taught me because I could not remember the trick to know the side of the buttons. Ladies left is how I remember. If the buttons are sewn on to the left side, then it's a ladies shirt. In this case, the buttons are sewn onto the right side, so it's men's, okay? That stumped me for so long. I had to look it up all the time. I've been reselling so long. <laughs> I don't have to keep looking it up. So that ladies left really helped me. You, I love you guys. I love your comments. I learn all the time. I read all the comments. I reply to as many as I can. It has gotten so that as the channel grows, there's more and more comments. So I'm not as timely as I've been in the past. I'm just being honest with you guys, but they really do mean a lot to me. This is a Zara dress. Zara, I'm selective with. I still consider Zara fast fashion, although some pieces do retail for a lot more, but this dress is so great. It's a substantial piece. Ivory with a brown stripe, tiered, long, maxi, contrasting stripe at the bottom. This is just everything. So I bought that because the style was so good. My piles are getting all messed up. We're doing great though, right guys? Thanks for sticking with me. Oh, so here's a pair of AG jeans. Remember that maxi dress that I showed you? That was AG and I said they're really known for jeans. Here's, it's Adriana Goldschmidt. It's kind of hard to say. These are the stilt roll up. Now, if you are at a regular Goodwill and they're charging you like mine does, $9.99 for a pair of jeans, then look up the style. Don't just say, oh, Quemby said AG jeans are really expensive. That's true. But some styles do really well and some not as much. I didn't look this up because I'm at the bins. These weigh less than a pound. I paid about $2 for them and it's going to be okay, but I wouldn't pay 10 without looking it up. Ooh, this is a really, really good brand. Gosh, slow start, but this haul turned out excellent. This is Notori. Notori is a very expensive brand known for their lingerie and slips and night stuff. So I don't know, this looks like a regular blouse to me. I suppose I could find out that it's part of a pajama set. So I will do a little bit more research. I don't know that if they also make women's clothing, this is a size large, truly gorgeous. I love this, I'm gonna pull it out because I love the wash on this. This is Bella Doll. This is a brand, God, I feel like everything I have so much to say about. <laughs> which is why I never make these 20 minute hauls like some of you. Well, I've also got a ton of stuff. I'm not pulling out 11 items from Goodwill. I have a lot of stuff and I have too much to say about all of it. <laughs> Bella Doll, quite expensive brand. Years ago, this was an absolute bolo. It does not sell as well as it used to, but I'm not leaving Bella Doll behind at the bins. This is what their stuff usually looks like. They're known for like their flannels. This has, I will list this as a distressed wash on this. So I will say Bella Doll, women's extra small flannel 
distressed blue plaid. This is a roll tab sleeve and I will put the material content in. On this one, it looks like it's probably 100% cotton, 100% cotton made in the USA. So that's how I'll list that baby up. This is a free people top. I think there was something wrong with it. Because I remember saying to myself, Quemby, you're still going to pick this up. It's kind of like their trapeze dress, if you guys know their trapeze famous dress. This is like a tunic top. It has a lace trim. It's got an asymmetrical hem. This is intimately free people. I still list it as free people. I just put free people, women's top, medium, red lace trim tunic. I think that's might have a stain or something. I can't see it now, but I remember questioning that purchase. Oh, this is funny. I've sold this bra so many times, but this one's new with tag. Another free people bra. It's a bralette to be precise. I believe this is called the Brahmi Cami. This one's new with tags though. Intimately free people was on sale for 38. That's a sale tag. And I usually get about 20 for these. Look at this little scrap of beautiful fabric. Uh oh, it looks like I picked up more nylon-y pants. <laughs> Oh, this, these are good, actually. I've been talking about this. Another pair of nylon outdoor pants, but these are REI Co-op. What's important to me is how underneath REI it says Co-op. It's a newer line, eco-friendly, doing really well for me. These are a size 12. That's my size. Um, black nylon cargo, hiking, outdoor, camping. <gasps> Free people! I love you! <laughs> I think I have, the, I do own this sweatshirt in a different color. This one says, I'm trying to read the extra large. That's awesome. Free people, extra large. I own this in teal. It's a nubby, oversized yellow sweatshirt with a balloon sleeve. And I will go in here. I'll look at the material tag. I'll find this number right here that says OB on the bottom. I'll put that into Google. We'll get a stock photo. We'll get the name. All right. I picked up these True Religion jeans. I don't know what is going on with True Religion these days. I haven't picked them up in so long. They usually look like this. That's their classic pocket. They are faked quite heavily or they used to be when they were a thing. These are a size 26. But these check out well. I'm looking at the tags. I'm looking at the font on the tags. I'm looking at the stitching. Um, I don't know what these sell for anymore. They were a hot thing. So we will find out together. The style probably matters quite a bit. So I'll have to find the style name on these ones. It gives me the cut. The style name made in the USA. So... Let me know in the comments, do you still pick up True Religion Dreams, and what is your current experience? These used to sell for a lot, but I don't know currently here in 2024 how they're doing. I also, like, there's many jeans like Miss Me, like Rock Revival, that have the crazy blingy pockets. Are you guys still picking those up? I'll pick them up at the bins, but I don't know if I'd pick them up. This is an amazing find. Um... This is Adidas collab with Stella McCartney. Now, in the past, Adidas collab with Stella McCartney was a total bolo. It looks like these are probably, well, the comps were all over. I just saw this sticking out. They're just sweatpants, and I don't pick up Adidas unless there's something unique or special about it. So I saw that and was like, wow, years ago, this was a thing. Size large, they're a gray sweatpant. The designer, Stella McCartney, did a collab with Adidas. I checked comps at the bins. Some were going for 25, some were going for more. So I figured it was worth checking them out. Hey, you guys, we made it through another IKEA bag. Woo, we are rocking it. This is a J Gel sweater in a size XL. So that's great. Again, my favorite color. A V neck, longer tunic length, ribbed sweater. Okay, I got another hat. What do we think? I think it's too big for me. But it does look very cool, festival boho-y. I got this because it says 100% Australian wool. Made in somewhere. The brand is Lack of Color. 
Don't know, but 100% wool hat like this and this style will sell for me. Then I'll just, when I sell it, if I have a box this size, I will use it or I will stuff the entire hat and put it in a mailer so nothing's getting squishy-rude. Okay, I gotta get this bag out. You guys are awesome for staying with me. I love you. Belts. I buy a lot and sell a lot of belts from the bins. This one is exceptional. It does have a flaw, but I got it anyway. I'll tell you why. Look at that buckle. Look at that. Absolute stunner. And then look at the back. Solid brass. So I will sell this belt for the solid brass buckle. It has a little bit of like staining. Um, I don't know if that's mildew or what on the leather. What's, it's crazy though, because the rest of it looks good. It looks to be, it's a braided belt. That's a keyword I'll use. I checked the belt holes to make sure it's not like totally shredded. So I will sell this um, and someone might buy it just for the buckle. And I will clean it and see if that's just a little cosmetic. It looks kind of surface to me. I bought these Zara pants. They're a size small and I bought them because they're very on trend. I'm going to use the keywords baggy, loose, and I'm going to call them like a parachute pant. They have like a tab at the bottom so you can adjust the ankles and they're very parachute -y. Loose, baggy, 90s parachute pant sort of deal. Those will be my keywords. I need a sip of water. Drink your water. In the past, I used to think I could just drink coffee all day and power through everything. Well, that does catch up with you after a while. <laughs> this was a fun dress because a fun for me as a reseller, because I'm like, this dress, I don't know, the style's pretty good, but I'm like, uh, so I just passed it by. Didn't see any name brand. Then I was walking by and it had got tousled and I saw this lining and I'm like, hmm, that looks kind of well made actually because it's all lace, but it's got this gorgeous lining. So I brought it to my cart and I just sort of, I was gonna throw it in my, my um, reject pile and then I felt a tag on the inside. I'm like, oh, interesting. The tag says black milk and it's new with tag. So I took the time to look it up and this is an expensive dress. I'm gonna show you this tag, black milk. I don't know anything about it. So that's kind of cool to learn a new brand um, this is really, it just feels gorgeous. And that's what I love about the bands. I don't ever wear gloves because I want to feel stuff. I want to feel the quality. Oh, let me just show you this real quick. I also bought this part of my $180 total. Baskets are only a dollar and this is a gorgeous one. I've got it filled with this bag. This is the brand, the sack. These only sell for 20 to 25, but at the bins, um, is it La Sac or The Sac? I always forget. I'll show it to you then. The Sac. This is a popular brand. These are nice neutral colors, so that'll do it. And it doesn't need cleanup. In here are sheets. I'm not going to pull them all out. Sheets are $2 a piece at my bins, and these are linen. I have made so much money on linen sheets. If you see linen sheets or bedding, Look it up. One of this linen sheets is Pottery Barn. The other one is Restoration Hardware. So if you know, you know, those are two popular, expensive brands in bedding. So I picked them up. New with tag. Oh, these were, I had to look up too, because these are Gray Lab Los Angeles, size 26. And they have this weird crossover front thing. What do you guys think of this? Now this looks so 90s to me. I was in school in the 90s we had these kind of like complicated front crossover pants. So maybe that's what it's from, but I personally don't like them, but Gray Lab, it seemed like they were going for quite a bit of money, but there weren't that many listed or that many sold, but <gasps> I forgot. Oh my gosh. I better take a thumbnail. I should do it right now while I'm thinking of it. I'll be right back. Okay, I took a pause and took a thumbnail. I saw this sticking out of a bin. I go for any embroidery because I'm a boho girl. And Perry was right next to me. And I'm like, I see the embroidery. I reach way to the other side of the bin. I pull it out. And I see that these are Johnny Was. Johnny Was Los Angeles. Heavily embroidered leggings. Size small, sadly. 
Um, now, I have not sold leggings. I've only sold tunic tops. Some do better than others, but they all sell. And I was like, Perry, gave her a hug. I'm like, ah, we're so excited. <laughs> Sorry you didn't find any. Maybe you will next time, hon. Amazing find. This is silk. I love this. Goodwill had this marked up to $16. Oh, I love this though. I might try this on. This is just Style & Co. And that's like an older Style & Co. tag. I will pick up Style & Co. in the larger sizes. Their peasant tops sell great for me. Goodwill had this marked to 16 bucks, Probably because it's silk, but I don't know. This is gorgeous. Look at that print. Really romantic. Size 18W, so I'm not an 18W, but yeah, maybe the arms will be too big. I'll try it on anyway. Size doesn't really matter. And <laughs> I always laugh when I say that. I'm like a teenager. Um, you know, size tags don't mean a lot to me because everything, you know, is made differently. This is Madewell, and it's a little denim skirt. Madewell, I usually don't pick up a lot of Madewell, but I guess I was thinking, hey, it's spring, it's summer. I don't see the size tag on this right off. Classic denim distressed frayed hem skirt. Is this Style & Co? Because this looks like the top, yeah, it is. <laughs> I've sold this top so many times. I like it better in a plus size, but it's this gauzy front, lace, crochet down the sleeve, absolute perfect peasant top. And I've sold that one a bunch. These are Lululemon joggers, OMG. I forgot how good this haul was. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so grateful. I'm truly, truly grateful. I know not everyone has a bins. My bins is very, very expensive, if that helps you feel any better. <laughs> I, and I'm just so, 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 so grateful. These are Lululemon, I just felt them. They do have a little bit of an issue, and so we'll decide whether we think it's a deal breaker. I just saw the Lululemon. I felt the fabric, found the Lululemon hit here. But somebody has written a name on the inside and then crossed it out. Why? I mean, these aren't kids. So they have a name on there. I'm not, oh, there's another one here, Carlson. They did not want him to lose these pants. So I don't know, it's on the inside. I don't know whether somebody is going to want those or if they don't care because it's on the inner waistband. I wouldn't care. I'd be like, who cares? No one's going to see that. I don't see a size dot right off, but oh well, at the bins, I picked them up. What is this? Oh, these are Prana. Oh, Prana, which I do like selling. Size small. This is a skirt, though. It has a super stretchy. Where is it a dress, do you think? Because it has a super stretchy top. Like, no, it's not a tube dress, is it? It's either a black midi skirt or a little dress. I'm thinking skirt. It feels really, really good. Sometimes they use organic. Boom, boom, boom. I know there's a super bolo down there too. I love this brand. It's indigenous. It's like organic, eco-friendly boho brand size. Extra small on this one. It says organic, fair trade fashion. These are awesome. Crossover front, super wide leg pants, and I'm sure they're organic cotton or something. Made in Peru, 100% organic cotton, right? I'll put eco-friendly in my title or theme or tags. I will put sustainable, organic, fair trade for people that are really looking for that. This haul, so grateful. This is Gypsy Global Village. Small Petite, I've bought this brand before. Everything they make is silk. I got some cargo pants from them before. Oh, this is so pretty. It's a high-low, so the skirt's like short in front, longer in the back, and it's sort of like, I guess, a tie-dye. Really gorgeous, silk, silk, silk. Another Hannah Anderson top to go in my collectione. This is an anthropology brand that I really like because they make stuff that looks vintage, old-fashioned like, Edme and Esselite. This is a size four. Look at that gorgeous tag. Ed, Edme and Esselite. This skirt's a little interesting though. I don't know what to think of it. Let me show it. It's a straight skirt. It's linen and striped and it's got pockets. That's great. And then the hem looks like this. I just don't know what to make of this. I mean, it's, it's rolled over and it's got buttons. And a part of me is like, is this a DIY situation? But... 
I can't tell. Look at the lining. That's what I love about Anthro. All the details, like even the lining has a little lace trim. I do, now that I'm looking on this, I don't know if this is DIY, but this, it matches the length of the slip. It just seems a little weird. The buttons are all gorgeous. Maybe it's not DIY. I don't know, you guys. Maybe I'll try and find this style. Fold it over with those buttons. This is unusual. <clears throat> Pilcrow on the letterpress. Size 27. Pilcrow is another anthropology brand. Here's a better tag. Pilcrow on the letterpress. These are high-rise corduroys. Like a straighter, skinny leg corduroy. Older piece. Here's more Land's End swimwear. Land's End size 18W swim shorts. I pick up their swim. These are Soft Surroundings, another great catalog brand. I love their catalog. I've heard a lot of talk about Soft Surroundings being acquired by a different brand, so I don't know what's gonna happen with them. Um, these are a size small, really soft, great feeling leggings with a nice color print. Leggings. Now, where's that awesome, awesome? Oh, is it on the very bottom? Here it is. I found Viore. I've not found Viore in a while. Size medium. There's another girl who I think is a reseller. I see her there a lot. Who's like, oh, nice. It's a little bit like I'm always happy for everybody, but it is a challenging moment. Like when the person right next to you, a hand, an arm's length away, finds something awesome and you're like, why didn't I find it? I, if I had been there a minute or earlier. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm jealous, but I am happy for people that they're finding stuff that's great. And there's enough for everybody, so don't sit there worrying about it. I think Perry and uh, Stephanie did well, too, and we were all there. Oversized, boxy sweatshirt, super soft. That brand is hot. Hot, hot, hot. And then this brand. <laughs> Viore, this is Target. This is a new day. I bought it because it's new with tag and I love the style, okay? New with tag. This is like a wrap front skirt. It's a linen midi skirt with a slit and then it, it wraps over and ties. It was $28. I'm probably gonna list it for $19.99 and I'll probably still put Barbie pink even though that might be um, on its way out. This is a brand I discovered that I bought recently, In Bloom by John Quill. I don't know that much about it, but I found a slip, and the slip sold really fast. And this is like a silk night uh, robe, silk robe. It doesn't have the belt, but guess what? Quemby has been collecting belts that I randomly find at the bin, so I will just put my belt on it and say not the original belt. This is cute, look at this print. What is this gonna turn out to be? Do they call this a ditzy floral when it's like so sweet? This is the sweetest print. It's La Vie by Rebecca Taylor. So this is an expensive brand. Rebecca Taylor is still sold at stores like Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom, Saks. Very expensive, not the best resale on it in my experience. How does this thing go? Looks like it's an off the shoulder ruffle neckline jumpsuit full jumpsuit in this gorgeous pattern this was at goodwill because i see a lot of their little goodwill tag so it's very light and sheer that's that a pocket oh god that thing's gorgeous i am so happy with the clothes oh i got this for me american eagle a little animal print i love a pop of animal print lately do you guys do that a little pop this is Chico's Travelers. I've always bought this the entire career of mine of reselling all these years. It's a slinky acetate, so I put slinky knit. Um, I am trying to put it like lotted up. Black, size one, which is a medium. Uh, I am trying to lot it up like if I find uh, another top or a cardigan or another pair of pants. This is a, this is a art to wear, lag and look artsy. Terra by Apparel, size XL. No idea what that is, Terra. But the style on this, I get to use all my boho keywords because it is very much that style. It's like oversized button front with this cool print. And then it's got this interesting pocket and button on the back. This is so boho. 
but it's boho not in like a hippie free people way but in like an art to wear layering art teacher way this thing's awesome that'll sell regardless of brand same with this same with this i don't know what this thing is but i'm like that is so it very lightweight gauzy circle print midi dress with pockets i'm gonna google lens this s that must be the brand um, but i will use all those same keywords pleated front very beautifully made love it lagging looky baby <laughs> this is torrid super soft knits and it's a three torrid's a plus size brand at the mall uh, three is a 3x, so I can probably get like $15 plus shipping for that. We are almost done. These last few items. If you're still here, you're like my favorite person. We are definitely friends. <laughs> this is vintage Ralph Lauren, the Blake shirt. It's silk and linen. Really great fabric content. This is men's vintage. I believe this tag is 90s, 2000s. I will Google it. This is nice. Okay. Ooh, let's end with that nice one. What is this? Is this another Torrid? Yeah, Torrid 4, which is a 4X. Red, super stretchy, turtlenecky top. And then let's end with this because I love it. <laughs> another free people in a size medium, rust colored, sweater knit on the top. Then this embroidered panel. It's all embroidered. Isn't that fantastic? Yes, it is. I appreciate you. If you stay to the end, you get to laugh at me for a little bit <laughs> in the bloopers. And I hope we get to check in in the comments. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here and I'll see you soon. Bye. I'm literally itching my nose in the video. That's not attractive. Now I'm itching my ear. What the heck? <laughs> Allergies. What is this? What is, where is this coming from and what is it? <laughs> Some weird hair. Okay. Let's see if I can get some decent light. There we go. Drink water. We all need to drink more water. <clears throat> Gee. Seriously? No, you can't film a video crooked. That's not cool. It's like Oh, I don't know. There we go. Oh. Ah. <laughs> that was a weird thing to say. Hey, 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 hey. Another woman was there who I assume is a reseller and she's like, oh, no. Oh, I just burped. That's not cool.